Hey guys, okay, so in this video I'm going to be talking about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 5, Episode 1. I'm going to be breaking it down for you, talking about a little bit about the queens, my favorite, blah blah, blah blah, blah blah blah. First and foremost, I want to tell you about who I like this season. Okay, this season is crazy. Basically all the queens are gorgeous, good personalities, they know what they're doing, costumes, whew, you're good, you guys are good. Oh, whew. Okay, so first and foremost, I wanted to say my favorite, and usually I don't make, I don't choose a favorite until like the third or fourth episode, because you know, you really gotta, you really gotta see, but Roxy Andrews, oh my god, gorgeous as a girl, gorgeous as a guy, body fed says, I definitely, I'm definitely on Team Roxy, um, I also love J. Jolie. When I first um, watched the promo, uh, well, not the promo, but the Meet the Queens, I was like, Ugh, Jade, girl, I, I, I didn't really like it. I just felt like it was she was kind of annoying. But after watching them more, I knew that Jade was going to bring a lot. Like, sh she has a lot to bring. And um, let me tell you, I fucking love Jade. Her personality, her look, her style, her voice, her cute-ass laugh. I can't even stand it. I I think Jade is definitely gonna go far, for sure. She might even win it. So her and Roxy, I can't I can't even say that I have one favorite. I have two. Jade and Roxy, girls. There you go, there you go. Um, okay, so I have a list up. Now I'm just gonna go in any specific order. Um, I was a little bit skeptical about Alaska being on the show. I was just like, oh come on, like are you fucking serious? But then you know. I did, I did realize, because I've watched RuPaul's Drag Race since season one, and they have showed Alaska in the casting um, episodes of every single season, and she's been trying, so you know what, I'm definitely giving Alaska a chance, and let me tell you, I thought she was going to disappoint me, but she did not disappoint me that first episode, so Alaska, you keep doing you, boo boo, keep doing you, um, <clears throat> definitely liking Alaska, uh, Ivy Winters, okay, I'm liking Ivy. She's very pretty. She knows what she's doing. I feel like Ivy is not going to make it as far as everybody thinks she is. I think she's just going to fall off after a while. She, you know, she's very pretty and she knows what she's doing, but her personality does not shine through. But I do like Ivy. Um, Lanesha Sparks. Ugh. She knows what she's doing, but she looks like a guy. She has man face, man, man expressions. You know, she's pretty. Like, ugh. not really liking... She's no Alexis Mateo or, you know, any of the other past Puerto Rican queens that have been on this show. So, sorry, Lanisha. <laughs> Hashtag girl bye. <laughs> Just saying. Um, um, let's see. Alyssa Edwards. Not even going to go there. No, I like Alyssa. Scoo me. Scoo me. I like Alyssa. Um, I feel like she's not going to make it that far. Middle. Middle. Um, you know, I'm giving her a chance to show what she has. You know, I'm like... <laughs> I'm liking the drama between her and Coco, but then I'm not liking the drama between her and Coco because I feel like it's fake, and if it isn't fake, they make it look fucking fake. Like, like Alyssa, I'm sorry, but if you hate that bitch, you is not going to be standing this fucking close to her. You're going to be ripping that bitch's wig off. Like, no, no. If I don't if I don't like somebody, I'm not going to be standing next to them. I'm going to be across the room giving them a dirty-ass look like, yeah, yeah, bitch, say something. Like, no. Um. So, yeah, Alyssa, um... Step it up, Henny. We don't. I'm gonna give you a chance. Um, Coco Montrese. Oh hell no. Mm mm mm. No, not even gonna go there. Detox. I like Detox. Um, you know, Detox. Whether or not she makes it far. Whether Detox makes it far or not, she's already successful without the show. So, you know, personally, I feel like um, the one thing I always liked about Detox is she's that one queen that was successful that everybody even known she'd even have to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. So I kind of don't like her on this season because I feel like she's good without it. But, pilot to you, girl. Honey Mahogany. Love Honey Mahogany. I, not a lot of people did, but I liked Milan. Milan was definitely one of my favorites. Um, season four, she's fucking sickening. She's gorgeous. Yes, she ripped her wig off. But the one thing I loved about Milan is that she always stayed true to herself. And that's what got her eliminated. You know, Rue told her to do something and she did what she wants. So she went home for it, but she stayed true to who she was. And she didn't let that hundred, or, er, hundred thousand? Yeah, hundred thousand. She didn't let that, you know, like, face her. You know, I'm going to stay true to myself, and that's why I like Milan. And I see a lot of Milan in Honey Mahogany. Even more. I see a lot in Honey Mahogany. 
Um, her look is gorge. Her personality loves. And, you know, I feel like Honey is going to make it far. Um, Jinx Monsoon. Uh, psh, like, I like funny queens, but I feel like, if, you know, if you're going to be funny, you have to be thick. Jujubee, bitch is funny. Bitch is thickening. Bitch knows what it's about. Jinx, you're funny, but you're ugly. Well, you're not ugly, but girl, I'm gonna need you to be a little bit more polished. Thought about it. Um, Monica Beverly Hills. Um, I'm not really a big Dita Ritz fan, and I see a lot of Dita Ritz in Monica Beverly Hills. Power to you, girl. I hope you make it far. If you didn't, I don't care. Um, Vivian Panay, gorgeous as a girl, gorgeous as a guy, you're gonna go far. I see a lot of Jujube in Vivian Panay. Um, Personality-wise, not looks. Well, kind of looks, yeah. Yeah, I could say looks, but yeah, I definitely think Vivian Panay is gonna be far. Um, J. Jolie, like I said. See, J. Jolie, on Wikipedia, you at the bottom of the list. But I skip down to the bottom of the list just to get you up on the top. And then I'm saying your name again because you just that thickening henny. But yeah, love J. Jolie. Um, Serena Cha Cha, girl, bye. Penetration. I am Team Adore Delano. Um, as a lot of people um, would agree with me, Adore Delano should have been on season 5 of RuPaul's Drag Race. And so, now the people who voted for Penetration, I hope y'all motherfuckers feel stupid because that bitch went home and Adore Delano should have been there and she would have went farther than episode 1. I'm just saying. L okay, so that brings me into my next topic. The lip sync. Penetration, you sucked. Serena, okay, you're annoying. You could stay one more episode, but please be gone in episode two because ain't nobody watch you there. Um, the one, actually, the one thing I do like about Serena is that... Um, actually, no, there's nothing I like about Serena. Um, the one thing I like about Penny is um, she's old school drag, and you don't really see that much, and I'm definitely one who would appreciate old school drag, you know, because you don't see it. And a lot of people down about it, but, you know, nobody else really... Not a lot of people do old school drag. It's all that new shit, like... Power to you, girl. Power to you. Um, and yeah, I really, um... I feel like uh, the challenge could have been a little bit more creative on RuPaul's part. Uh, you know, last season, it was like... Had a storyline, RuPocalypse, hey girl, hey. And then this this season, first episode, is just like, oh yeah, um... Go dig through dumpsters and make something out of it. No. Kind of boring. But I love the dunk. I love the the tank. The tank. Girl. Um, I was kind of surprised because I don't really like Lanaysha Sparks. And I kind of did want her to win that. Um, because, you know, her body language was on point And you had to see her in that tank. She was like, whoo, shoo, whoo, like, Okay, girl. And the main challenge, I definitely agree with um, their decision of letting Roxy win because Roxy is foxy henny. Um, that was kind of cheesy. Um, I really like Roxy, and I definitely think she deserved to win. Um, what I didn't like is that they gave Jade a lot of shit for what she was wearing. She looked adorable. Like, she had the red sequin, and then she had the M -N -N -M -N -S -B -C, whatever the fuck that is, like, going up. And then she had the poof on top of her head. That looked cute. It was a fucking rainbow and I liked it just saying um so yeah this season is definitely one of my favorite seasons probably my favorite season queen wise um so I'm very excited to see what these bitches got um so yeah so thank you for watching and I will make a new video next week for episode 2 honey